All right, one of the big keys when you're uh, working and making uh, things like a stew and whatever you're doing in the kitchen, you want to follow the uh, French style called en place, which means you want to have everything that you need already assembled. So you're not halfway through a process, maybe with your hands goofed up, and the next thing you know, you have to go grabbing for something and wash your hand. You get everything in one spot and then you don't have to uh, worry about it. So what we're going to be using here, we're going to be having a little bit of uh, uh, rice wine vinegar for a little bit of a uh, little bit of pop to it. We're going to have, let's see, we don't use regular salt anymore. We use sea salt because our regular salt has silica in it, which is a caking agent. And that's like ground glass and I don't want to be um, eating ground glass. So thank you uh, Aaron in SoCal for bringing that to Uncle Aaron that is here to help. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. And I have general Italian seasonings here. I'm going to put that out there. Okay. And I think I've got some uh, little bit of uh, basil for a little bit of extra pop. Here's our sea salt here. We're going to have that. Okay going ahead and just doing the whole uh, whole assemblage here. We're going to need some extra virgin olive oil. I like Star brand. It's our local. I don't know what's in your market. I've got a little bit of basil here. Basil leaves, a little extra pot. And we're actually growing basil this year on the uh, ranch hill. And I've got um, little bit of extra oregano leaves and you can save a lot of money and here's a good tip for you guys you can save a lot of money if you go to a restaurant supply place and you get these uh, you get these larger containers of seasoning and these are about five dollars in restaurant size and you're gonna pay about two-thirds of that in a uh, supermarket for like one-tenth of it so uh, be smart or as they say in Hawaii be Akamai, okay? Be smart when you go out there. So that's uh, basically our spice assemblage. I need to go grab uh, some tomato paste. Be right back. Well, I'm so used to having it out there when we had to take it out to the washer and dryer. Now it's back in the pantry again. So let me grab that. six ounce can of uh, tomato paste and this is what gives it a little bit of an Italian zing to it also and it also thickens it up a bit too so we put that in there too and then we have our uh, red potatoes and I really like to use red potatoes here and I probably have I don't know maybe uh, maybe four pounds of red potatoes here and they'll be good Okay, and I've got a couple, I only need one big onion. Well, a couple onions here. I got some garlic. Let me grab one of the onions here. And uh, I've got some nice, uh, nice carrots that I'm going to cut up too. Okay, so I got my uh, carrots here. And I use about uh, six or seven carrots. I've got one onion. And I'm gonna. I got a uh, garlic clove of gar a, a whole head of garlic here. That I'm going to be uh, using, and I'm gonna use about a half a pound of uh, fresh green beans. And I'm gonna get them uh, fired up. And I've also got some meat here too. And you can marinate this the night before if you want. And I found uh, now. Of, uh, this is almost two pounds here, 1.73 pounds. And now instead of using, uh, well, this is it. Here it is. Nice, really beautiful stew meat. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, going to go ahead and cube that and cut that a little more. So there's our basic ingredients here. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, prep the meat. 
Uh, and then we're going to start to start put put a little olive oil in. We're going to sweat our onions, put our garlic in there. We're going to add our meat. Then we're going to start building it up. We're going to add five cups of water to it, probably six. We're going to build ourselves a great beef stew. Okay, you're going to want to stick around for this. All right, are you having fun yet? Huh? So let's go ahead and uh, cut off uh, one end of our uh, onion here. Okay, and let's go ahead and cut off the uh, other end. Okay, pull that off and uh, do a little slice on the side there and you can peel away the uh, lousy part of the uh, membrane here like so. You can throw all that in the sink for uh, later. Okay, we'll grind that up later. So I can go ahead and uh, I can actually take this now and I can cut it in, uh, well, like that and cut it across on the top. Okay, until I have it in the uh, things like that. You don't want these too small. You don't want them to liquefy in here. And I'll line that up right there. I'll pull out that little yellow in the center. That can be a little, that can be a little, uh, not so tasty. That part of the, uh, not that part of the onion. So I'll take that out and throw that aside. Okay. Now go ahead and just chop these right down the middle there. We'll go ahead and take some uh, extra virgin olive oil over here. Tilt that to the side so you guys can see. Take about uh, oh about a tablespoon. Pop the heat to her. Try to get the plastic out there. Put the heat to that. Okay, sitting that right there. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, See all right right there, okay. I'm go ahead and uh, throw that in the pot there. Plastic out. Have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a miss there. That's okay. It's not a perfect problem. The next thing we want to do is grab our. Uh, we got a clove of uh, our head of garlic here. We just want to uh, kind of. This is just the way I do it to break out uh, just maybe a two, two decent size cloves in here. Okay, we'll prep them up and put the rest of that away. You just want to get that, that paper off of them. Okay, it's not good. We're all of that off. We'll put the garlic on the side that we want to uh, use and just remove that papery film from it. A little bit of a knife to do that helps. And make sure you're using good fresh garlic. We have uh, garlic from Gilroy, which is the garlic capital of America. And every, uh, every July they have the uh, Gilroy Garlic Festival. Oh, run away. The stuff just runs away. Well, that's enough. That's actually enough uh, Enough garlic right there. I'm going to turn that heat down a little bit. You don't want to overdrive it. Then I'll go ahead and really chop this. A little bit of garlic goes a long way. Chop that garlic up there. And that's going to release all of its goodness in there. I'm no kitchen magician, that's for sure. I don't claim to be, but garlic can be one slippery little devil. We'll throw that in there. Okay. Alright, there we go. Put that right in the pot there. That is our bait. We'll go ahead and get our big spoon. Pop that on. Okay, we'll move that around. We've got our whole onion in there and a bit of garlic and we'll let that sweat a bit. What adds real savory, uh, real savory flavor to our dish right there? Okay. Let them sweat good. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, take the meat out and I'm going to cube this a little more. Okay, and make sure you use a wooden cutting board. It's better than plastic. It's easier to sanitize. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prep this meat up.
I'm going to turn the heat back up a little bit and I trimmed off the, uh, I did a really good job I think of uh, trimming off the uh, meat and these, uh, these onions are being sweated really well and the uh, garlic too. Don't overdo it. These are going to cook in the uh, stew. You just want to make sure you're going to knock the harsh edge off of them. And here's the uh, beautiful meat that I have. Be careful, I don't want any of this going overboard and it was all it was really beautiful. I bought the, uh, the lean. And of course, you need some fat for flavor, but you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to go crazy with it. So I took off. Uh, I took off the uh, gristle too. Stir that around. That piece is a little big. I think I'm going to cut this. Uh, cut that one down a little bit. Pop that in there. That look good. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'd like to add my uh, I'd like to add my spices early on. Okay, and this is a this is a nice zingy stew here. I'm gonna add uh, one nice uh, one nice uh, rounded tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I'm gonna add. One uh, level teaspoon, teaspoon of oregano there. Oh, you just cannot believe the uh, smell here. A bit of a shake of uh, basil on there. Okay, we're going to add uh, two tables, two teaspoons of uh, sea salt. Okay, and this is going to be a little harder to uh, pour because it doesn't have the anti uh, taking agent. It, uh, like a regular table salt has. So I'm going to kind of pour that over here. Okay. There's one. And here comes number two. I'm going to keep stirring. Oh, I can't tell you how nice that smells. And this is what gives that incredible Italian flavor to this that uh, everybody I've ever made this for has absolutely loved this. So, a little more uh, EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. I also want a few, one tablespoon of Asian rice wine. You can use red wine vinegar, and this really adds a nice little, uh, perks it up really nicely. Okay. Next thing we want to do is, this is really a fast stew, okay? This is no all day in the kitchen extravaganza here. And one, uh, one rounded uh, teaspoon of pepper. And that basically uh, completes the uh, spicing here. You guys can see that's already looking, uh, already looking really awesome. So we're going to let that uh, fire away and brown that meat. And remember, browning adds flavor. Not charring, but uh, browning. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to prepare my uh, veggies here and get them all set, clean up the counter. And I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. Nice pieces of carrot, not too thick, not too thin. The higher you go up the, uh, the lower you go towards the base, you want the thinner cuts to be, so it keeps the cooking time about uh, that uniform, okay? I think that's going to do the trick for that. That looks pretty good. There's our, uh, there's our carrots there. We'll pop them in the bowl. We'll keep them on the uh, side there. We'll go ahead and prep our beans next. I think I've got a pretty good way to uh, do the beans. I just kind of line them up just like so. And 
and just go through one end and I'll line them up the uh, line them up the other way here get them all lined up on the board good all the ends up it just makes it a uh, much faster proposition you might have one that escapes the guillotine you can just pull that one back other one there and I can go ahead and just get this into uh, pieces here like so and uh, there they go I can put them right in with the carrots and I will uh, I'll do the rest of them you can see how easy that is to do those uh, green beans Welcome back, uh, welcome back, Missy Jen. Good recording, and the potatoes are real easy. I'll just chunk these. And make sure to wash them first. Namaste. Namaste. Chunk them into uh, pieces like that, so they're kind of uh, kind of bite size. Hello, honey. Namaste. Everything okay at the store? Yes. Uh, there you go. Standing in line. Right, just like uh, just like so there. So. Uh, trick is you want everything kind of the same size as the uh, same vegetable. You don't want to be overcooking your uh, stew so it seems like everything just becomes like a, uh, a mush and that's not uh, that's not a good way to uh, that's not a good flavor sensation to have the uh, sensation of mush when you're eating it. So. Okay this is a uh, real easy duty here be done in uh, no time. A really big one, you just will want to quarter that and then like uh, like so if it's too big just come back and uh, cut on it a little bit. It makes it real easy. Go ahead and add these right into the pot right now to give myself a little more room. Okay, it's gonna make it really nice here. Give me a little more room. So I'll go ahead and uh, finish doing the uh, potatoes and then I'll see you guys back here in a little bit when we add our uh, add our uh, tomato paste to it and our water and start bringing it up here so see you in a little bit all right so we got all of our uh, go take a look there Missy Jen give them a good look down in the uh, pot there we've got our uh, veggies all in there with our meat we're gonna now go ahead and add our secret ingredient which is the uh, tomato paste and what do you think Missy Jen this makes a uh, really well fired up this makes a really good uh, really good stew here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stir that in a little bit okay now I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, five cups of uh, water here okay and that'll give us our uh, broth. Make sure you're using nice water. Gotcha. One, two, three. The video me too. Four. Always follow the action. Four. Okay. There's there. There's uh, five. We'll probably add one more cup as we uh, get in. There we got the man down there. I'll get that. Up. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that uh, stirred in, and we're gonna let that uh, we're gonna let that come up to a uh, nice come up to a nice slow boil. And how's that looking, Missy Jen? That huh? Looks good. Look the colors on that. That's gonna be amazing. Looks of course, delicious. we'll add two right. more teaspoons of uh, salt later. One more teaspoon of pepper, and you can add your spices as you see fit to uh, get that up to a saltiness or a uh, pepperness that you like to have. So we'll see you back here in a little bit. I'm going to get uh, cleaned up and uh, get start getting prepared for part two, which is get our bread going here. And uh, we got a pie to knock off today uh, too. Okay, so see you back here in a little while.
There we go, guys. We brought it up to a boil. It's time to turn it down and move it to a much smaller. This is a double flame on the front, so I want to get the rear wing on here on very low. And I'm going to let this go for 10 minutes here. Okay, let this go for uh, 10 minutes here, just on a very low. And then we're going to cover it, and that's all our stew making is absolutely done for the day. We'll probably end up adding uh, one more cup of water, maybe two more cups of water to it. And this will, uh, this will be one beautiful stew for tomorrow night. So easy to do. So doggone easy, and it's going to be so tasty. And all the veggies are going to retain all their color. And uh, this is going to cook all, uh, it's going to sit there and as it uh, cools down, it's going to continue uh, cooking. What could be easier than uh, making a stew like this? Okay, it's been about uh, 10 minutes. I've had that on super low. It's just been simmer simmering and believe it or not, guys, this beef stew is uh, done. All we have to do now is just put the cover on it. And let it sit there and then later this afternoon when it's all down to uh, room temp we will just throw it in the uh in the refrigerator there and i'll tell you this will be some uh this will be some excellent eating for tomorrow okay that's going to be a wrap on the uh beef stew make sure you stay tuned we've got the uh bread coming up the bread making preliminary for tomorrow and we're gonna bang out a chocolate cream pie. Woohoo! Boy, is this gonna be a feast for us tomorrow? So you don't wanna miss that uh, coming up Saturday on the rancho, right, Missy Jen? Right. <laughs> She's got her headphones on there. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit.